Hey, what's up you guys, it's John Manalo. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a crazy looking custom. Some of you guys might love it. Some of you guys might hate it. So this is the custom of the shoe. You can see I put an Air Jordan 6 bottom with a Nike Fog upper. So this was a guinea pig pair that I wanted to try because the real shoe I want to swap is the canary pair. And let me know for the canary pair what bottoms you guys want me to swap it with. I'm gonna do a poll. So watch the whole video and wait until the end of the video for the instructions on how to enter the giveaway. So you could win this pair and the canary pair that you guys choose which bottom I'm gonna put on. All right, you guys, enjoy the video. So the Nike Fear God ones, this is what they look like. So they have two zoom units. They have that thick, that T-T-H-I-C-C's unit on the heel right there. It's like really thick. And they have a strobo board zoom unit. For me, I actually like the custom because it reminds me of the Batman shoes that were in the movie from 1999. Batman Returns and Batman was wearing this super high top Air Jordan 6. The only difference is it's not completely blacked out. There's some gold hits. I want to do a quick shout out to Jay Zardet for doing this render and Trinidad James for connecting with the shoe surgeon and making it come to life. So I want to show you guys what parts I'm going to cover up with suede material because the original midsole on the fogs are a lot different from the Air Jordan 6 midsole. I'm going to be honest, this was a daunting custom to do. This is something I've never done before. I've kept putting it off just because I didn't know how to go about it. Long story short, I was just dreading for this custom to be a failure. But then I realized you will fail if you don't try. And if I did fuck up, it's not a failure if you learn from your mistakes. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to separate the upper part of the plastic with the midsole since I want to make sure that I have a clean cut. And I'm just going to trace the center point where they both meet. I will be using acetone to eat up the adhesive so I can separate the midsole from the upper. To accelerate the process, I will be using a heat gun so then the process will be accelerated. And in this syringe, I just have acetone. I'm going to continue this tedious process until the whole upper is separated from the midsole. I'm going to separate the zoom unit strobo board, try my best not to pop it because we will be using this again in the future. So to separate the DMP6s, I will be pouring acetone inside, letting all the adhesive eat it up and then I could just pry it apart. I made a mistake of going true to size for the donor. I should have went a full size up because the heel is protruding like it's a 1989 Jordan 4 or something.
So this is what the shoe looks like without the midsole attached. There's a lot of exposed areas that I will have to cover up with the material. So I was thinking about a smooth black leather or suede. If I were to do this again, I think I'll do it in a smooth black leather next time. So I'm going to recreate the pattern of the sole that I just removed with scotch tape. After I get the full pattern, I'm going to lay it on top of the suede and then cut it to size. So with here, I'm experimenting with, okay, what sole should I put on? A Jordan 5 looks pretty cool. Um, so if you guys want me to put a Jordan 5 on the Canaries, let me know. And then I brought out, you know, my spare midsoles. So I brought out a Jordan 3 to see what it would look like. And it does not look good at all. It has to have an icy sole for sure. I'm putting a weight on top of my pattern so it doesn't move around. So I'm just using my tape dispenser. My bad, my big guava head was in the way. I was too focused to see if I was blocking the view. So this is what the material looks like after I cut it out using my pattern. I'm going to glue down the suede first and then I'm going to stitch the upper to the suede so it doesn't move around. And after that I'm going to stitch the toe box so it'll be more secure.
any kind of stitching practice i'm gonna use it so this was a great project for me to do only because i knew i had to stitch something so this was really just an excuse to practice on my stitching this part was really hard to do only because it was already formed so the part where it curves right in the middle of the toe box it messes up with how the wheel is holding the material so it kind of went off track right in the middle this was just something that needed to happen so i know in the future so i'm taking this l as a lesson and this is not gonna stop me from doing more projects that involve sewing and i'm talking hella low because it's damn near 2 a.m and i just want to bang out this content for you guys and over here, I ran out of bobbin threads, so I had to put in a new one and just calibrate it just to make sure everything was going to go smooth. We're moving on to the next step where we're going to bond the uppers to the midsole. To have a higher strength in your rig glue, I'm going to remove all of the excess doorbuck that was left while I was separating the, the DMP6s. This is just to remove any unnecessary foam or, you know, just debris that I don't need on the soles. And after that, I'm going to clean it up with acetone and cotton balls. If you guys need help in your restorations, especially your reglues, hit me up on my Patreon. You can subscribe for as low as $5 a month. I'll educate you on the fundamentals, but for $20 a month, I'll teach you guys the advanced techniques. Link will be in the description below. So prior to applying adhesive on the midsole and the uppers, I heated up my adhesive not only to loosen it for easier application, but to also combine all of the chemicals inside of the bottle because when it sits still for a long time most of the chemicals separate like oil and water so by making it thinner i'm incorporating all of the components making your reglues much stronger Depending on the material you're working with, I let the adhesive cure and have enough space for it to air out. So once it fully cures, I reactivate the adhesive by reheating it again, then bonding the two surfaces. So I wanted to add a little bit more flavor to the laces, so I just dipped them in bronze paint. It's not permanent, I just want them to, to, to look nice. I could just peel it off if I decide not to want them anymore. Because the soles are no longer the Fear Gods, but an Air Jordan 6, by inserting the insoles, it moves around because it's not the same fitment. So by gluing down the zoom units to the insoles, we'll have a secure fit and it'll be much more comfortable to walk in. So you're asking me, why are you cleaning a brand new pair of shoes? They're not dirty. So I'm going to give you three reasons. Uh, one, it's just to rejuvenate and add oils to the real suede, which is the whole charcoal gray toe box. And also just to, um, you know, loosen up any dirt that was accumulated on the, the new suede that I applied. 
to to remove any acetone discoloration because I did use acetone to remove the midsole from the uppers and three it will remove the imprint from the wheel of the sewing machine by the bristles moving around and um, loosening up the suede fiber and I'm using a soft bristle brush if you guys are not familiar with your suede yet you I do not recommend doing this method by soaking the entire suede if you guys are new to restoring and cleaning suede I recommend doing this method on suede you're not familiar with with a spray bottle and misting the solution on top and just lightly agitating it with a with a soft bristle brush and then removing the dirt that accumulates on the surface with um, a microfiber towel and not pressing really hard because that'll compress the fibers which you do not want to do all right you guys to enter the giveaway for this shoe i want you guys to hashtag manalo that means tagalog in winter and these shoes are obviously a size 10 so if you guys don't fit them uh, do whatever you want with them i don't care they're yours yeah so best of luck to you guys if you guys like how the shoes turned out give this video a like but if you guys don't like it give it a dislike all right y'all thank you god bless and good luck Yay! Magnets couldn't hold the shoe up because it was so heavy, so I had to improvise. Mm -hmm.